Man, look at all this snow. We got dumped on last night, I'd say, uh, I don't know, eight inches. And uh, today, besides trying to survive this Arctic wasteland, we're gonna go to a thrift store and we're gonna check out some stuff we can resell online to make some money, so, uh, so check that out. Look at this guy's truck, good God. It's about eight feet off the ground. That's how you get around in Michigan when it snows like this. I mean, not really. I'm in a little all-wheel drive Mazda, but uh, that's a truck, damn. As you can tell, the roads are kind of bad. I'm gonna give you a little bit of free advice as somebody who's driven in the roads like this for more than half his life. Uh, don't panic, do not hit the brakes, do not turn. Look way down the road. See how much space the car ahead of me has? You might say, oh Blake, you're, you're driving, you should be paying attention. I am paying attention. The car ahead of me has 150 yards. Wonder where he's from. Jamaica. Wow, you made it through my intro a whole minute. Congratulations. Here's some Mikasa mugs. So Mikasa is a brand to look out for. There's a set of these. There were six here. Now, I wouldn't buy these at three bucks a piece. There's not enough meat in that bone. But if you can buy a lot of like 25 or 50 on auction, this brand does have a pretty good sell-through rate. This caught my eye. It's a Martha Washington Blue Avon glass. I used Google Lens to figure that out and then used eBay to check comps. Unfortunately, only worth like seven bucks and then there's shipping and then there's the cost so i left it another here. cool brand this thing caught my eye and now i know about it the brand is napier a little tiny piggy bank this one is beat up a lot of patina if you're being optimistic uh, they wanted a few bucks for it it goes for like 10 bucks but now in my mind i know napier is a brand people that like to buy when i see a good single stitch t-shirt i'm buying it fruit of the loom pre-shrunk cotton, got Hawaii on the graphic, all that stuff says uh, money to me. I paid two bucks here. I'll put it at 40 bucks on eBay and I will take any offer I get. This is all I got. I'm not gonna lie. I almost went home. I wasn't too happy about this. I'm glad I didn't go home and you're, you're gonna see why. I had some great finds coming up next, but all I found was that t-shirt and some books. Uh, that's not good for me. I went to a Goodwill next and the good finds just started raining down. I don't normally sell clothing, but I found so many great jackets, including one that I severely underestimated. We'll see that later in the video. This is an Athleta down vest. I love selling down vests, down jackets. Down is always in style, very warm, very practical. It was really hard to leave this on the shelf. It's a Sherry is her name, CMU Vintage Varsity Golf Jacket. I love golf, I love CMU. Shout out to everybody in Mount Pleasant, uh, underrated college, but there's just not the demand for this. So maybe I would have bought it five years ago, but now with what I've learned, Sorry, I had to leave it. Another great find, not the best find, but a great find, North Face 550 down two-tone brown puffer jacket. If you had this when I was in high school, you'd have been the coolest kid in school. These sell in regular colors for like 60, 70 bucks. I priced this at 100 bucks, and I think I might get full asking price. What do you think? I'd love to hear in the comments. As I turned around the corner, I saw a new rat get rolled out, and I saw this on the rack, a hockey jersey, Montreal Canadiens. I love selling hockey jerseys, always a good profit. This one was not the best hockey jersey. Uh, they can go upwards of $200, but I said still get about 60, 70 bucks for it. I thought this was kind of funny. I was like, what's a pop can doing on the shelf? Not a pop can. It's uh, look, well, it's for hiding stuff. So uh, what would you, what would you hide in there? Uh, is this the kind of thing that you'd buy to sell? For me, not enough profit, but I don't know. I thought it was funny. Now I'm trying to get more into art collectibles and things like this. I used Google Lens to identify this as a dish from the Indiana Glass Company, Indiana Glass Co. Uh, scalloped design. I'm not sure if it's rare. I liked it, only three bucks here. I'll list it at 30 bucks, that's a bit high for the market, but this is how I learn through trial and error. This is something I think you can use to make some money. This is the Stepford Wives famous book, and as you look at my phone, a lot of these are not worth selling, at least not in my opinion. But this is the book club edition. You scroll up, you see the regular ones go for a lot more money. But how do you tell? Well, the book club edition has a little text blurb on the bottom left corner of the inside cover. This does not have that. It's a different first edition. This book is in kind of poor condition. It was a library book. I still think I should be able to get about 40 bucks for it though. 
Even though the cover is the same, it's a different book, and you have to know these details if you want to win at reselling. One more cool thing, coincidentally, also Hawaii related. This is a Primo Hawaiian beer mug. These caught my eye because they were shiny, they look vintagey, and I know that there's no current Hawaiian beer, at least that I've heard of, called Primo. Uh, I looked these up, the same exact model, the same cups, sold for about 50 bucks if you include shipping. For two bucks a piece, that's worth it. Here is the big find. In my recap, I said I might make 250 bucks on the whole haul. I underestimated this jacket. After more research, after I bought it, I'll make close to that on this jacket alone. It's a vintage Ralph Lauren wool jacket. Now that's a good brand, it looks good, but how did I figure out exactly everything about this? It's called a duffel jacket. Uh, there's a lot of keywords to use to get the right price. And when I searched on eBay what it's going for, the sold prices blew my mind. Some of these were going upwards of $350. I priced mine at $250, but the way I found out what it was was pretty simple. I pulled my phone out, I used an app that I've been using a lot to find this more rare, difficult stuff called Google Lens. It's really easy, it's part of the Google app. And I just took a picture of it and it showed me similar styles, similar keywords to use. And after I pulled those keywords off of this app, I went on eBay and did a few searches and found that yes, this jacket is not only very in demand, but very expensive. I paid 10 bucks for it, it's gonna go for hundreds of dollars, especially as a buy it now listing. You see a lot of these auctions go for a couple hundred bucks, 150. Well, buy it now is almost always gonna be more. That was pretty cool. The day started off kind of slow, but finished on a high note. I'm gonna go back and list this stuff now. I've noticed that by trying to move my average sale price on clothing items above 40 bucks, I'm much more motivated to list stuff. Uh, buying that glass was cool. The books are very easy to list. Everything here, it should take me I don't know, an hour to list all the stuff from the two stores. And I should probably make, you know, I didn't do the math, but over 250 bucks profit uh, pretty easily. Uh, and we do have a secret message for today. If you've been following along the Thrift Hunt series, we're at 10 now, I guess. And that secret message, and I'm sure a lot of you know what we're spelling by now. And if you do, put it in the comments. The secret message today is the letter H. Write down the letter H. And if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. Uh, really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.